How's it going? I am once again back out in the forest. So, <laughs> since the last video, um, since the last video, some funny things have happened. You know, I came out here for that video to um, try and get some snow action, and nothing happened. Later that day, it started raining, and it rained for two days straight, all through the night, all through the day, and it looked like it had poured, poured, it had snowed a bunch, and from down in the valley looking back up into the mountains like yes there's snow so I came up here today the snow is farther up it's up on the bigger mountains which are a, another couple of miles so unfortunately I'm back to soaking wet ground so I'm I'm trying to start a fire here and I brought some uh, brought some food and stuff but like literally everything is soaked everything's soaked uh, brought I brought uh, two pieces of my own wood this time um, and what I'm trying to do now is I'm gonna try and start this without there's no like dry grass or anything that I can really use all these pine needles around here it the ground is soaking wet um, so I'm trying to use my fire kit in conjunction with this wood see if I can just get this thing going and this is one of those little pieces of fat wood I was talking about they're really really short pieces I have and I just, I've made some shavings. I was shaving it into like this bag here. I'm trying to make some, just some fine shavings. Use the bag to catch them, otherwise they'll just fly all over the ground. You'll never see them, so. It's really nice out. I think the sun has broken through. It's, it was 40 degrees when I got here a little while ago and that sun feels really good. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of the wool. The wool might be a little bit too much right now. Unfortunately, I knew it was gonna be a little bit warmer today, so I brought, I have a t-shirt on under this, and I, I might have like a, some sort of sweatshirt in there, but I was thinking it was gonna be, well, I don't know what I was thinking to be honest with you. I still am, I still am challenged a little bit when it comes to the correct layering for the weather, because, you know, like I was talking about in one of my shooting videos, no matter how cold it is outside, if there's no wind and the sun is shining, like a clear day and the sun is shining down on you, it can feel, you know, 10, 10 degrees warmer just from that. So, all right, let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. I don't know if, if these things will catch a spark, but I do have, I did prep a couple of, uh, of little cotton pads just in case it didn't. And get this thing going this wood hope I mean this wood looks it's dry it's dry hopefully that that'll actually work a little bit better okay let's see if I can shower this I don't want to what I'm afraid of doing is hitting the little I got a little piece of wood if I hit it all those things are just gonna fall fall over so I'm gonna try and use this without messing it all up I'm too, I'm too far away from it. I don't have to dig right down in here and do it. All it wants to go. Well, there we go. There we go. Let's see if we can get some of this lighter wood on here. Get it going. Like I said, I'm not using any kind of grass or anything, which is makes it easier. But when you don't have the the ability, carrying around the just a little tiny piece of fat wood can be beneficial. A lot of different. There's a ton of different ways to do it, and you know, it's fun to to try out all the different methods to see if you can do it. But I, lately, I've haven't been having to kind of rely on my on my fire kit. It, it, whether I didn't have to use the cotton this time, but I did have to use one of the little tiny pieces of fat wood, which again, you saw here's it's not that big, it's it's only a little bit longer than this, probably about 
four inches long, and this one was just a little bit fatter than a, than a pencil size, which is all you need. It's very easy to pack around, no matter what, how much, how lightweight or how heavy you're going, you can always carry stuff like that. So the, str the stream down here, this is a different stream than last time. I'm about, I'm about two miles away from the, the last spot I was at. And this is where the bigger stream is. This one here is one that down oh, about a couple hundred meters down this way, I actually have to cross it as I'm driving in. good way to wash off the mud but my Jeep just throws mud everywhere man it's you have when you have those thin narrow fenders nothing stops it from coming up all over all over your windows your mirror everything it's crazy all right well while that's uh while that fire is getting getting going I figured I'd walk down to the creek you'll see how big it is how wide it is um, because of all the rain we've had and if some of the snow farther up that way well I don't want to look in the sun is melting already because it's you know mid 40s so this thing should be pretty good size i don't know if you can tell but it could be a lot wider all the way over to here in these flatter areas it's not gonna be the most stable thing walking over all these rocks. It's pretty cool though, huh? Pretty nice down here. It's warm too. Like I said, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to ditch this wool. It's a little bit a little bit warm for this. It's about uh it's about 40 45 degrees right now. So, but the little creek is rolling pretty good. I tell you what, this is a good a good time to uh, tell you about the epiphany that I had. Well, okay, so. Here's the thing, I'm wearing these jeans, and um, I've got I've got some a couple of good pairs of like uh, I got some Fjall Raven, some really cool outdoor type pants that I've I've worn a lot. I've had them eh, a couple years now, and I love them. They're good in the heat. They're good in the cold, if you layer correctly, and they're really good for uh, for kind of drying fast if they get wet. I'm getting to the epiphany part, trust me. So I can't fit in them right now because I've put on some some pounds. I could fit into them, but they'd be uh, not, not super comfortable. You ever notice that when you try to do the right thing, when you try to do something focused, when you try to turn things around, it can never be all-encompassing. Here's what I mean by that. Let's take, for example, you're trying to shift gears. You're trying to work harder, earn more money, support your family, and you put your head down and you push forward. And you're working, you're working overtime, you're working double shifts, you're picking up, you know, you're, you're cashing in your vacation pay. You're doing all this stuff, but like I said, it can't be, my epiphany is you can't be all encompassing. You're so focused on this task, this huge task, that there's other little things that slip, like your weight. <laughs> so when you're, when you're working hard and you're so focused on this, you tend to skip lunches or you tend to not take the time to shop or cook in a healthy way. You might eat more fast food, you might eat more frozen pizzas, like this guy. You might eat more canned foods, because it's easier, it's quicker, because you've got your, you got your tunnel vision focused over here. You can have an overall picture, a goal in mind of everything. But you can never do it all at once. You have to pick 
one big thing or a few smaller things and focus on that. And the, how this ties in with me is, you know, I've been, I, I've always worked very hard, you know, because I like to play hard. And in order to do that, you got to work hard. And working multiple different types of jobs, regular jobs, you know, YouTube, live streaming, multiple, multiple YouTube channels, and then coming out here and doing this stuff and, and enjoying it, I've, <laughs> I've missed, I've missed the fact that I've been eating like, like terribly. I've been eating really bad. And we're gonna segue into today's food because I didn't bring anything else. I've got, a, I've got an MRE. <laughs> Someone, one of my buddies from, uh, from the UK, said, "Hey, why don't you, uh, why don't you?" Okay, I was sitting over there. Now the heat's coming this way. What the deuce? Why? What did I do to you? What did I do to you? So. Uh, my buddy Retta said, "Hey, why don't you do an MRE out there?" And I was thinking, "Man, I've got I've got a bunch of MREs just in case. I always keep one in my in my pack." So we're gonna do <laughs> some. Some of you guys know this. Some of you guys don't. Um, there's a big joke about the menus. There was a I don't even remember what menu it was. I think it was menu 12 or something. But it was really bad, and my buddy Niels had it, and it was hilarious. So this is menu 15, Southwest beef and black beans. So I'm gonna try this bad boy out. We'll see what, see what came in this thing. So we got tortillas, nacho cheese pretzels. Oh, the, the spoon. Um, oh, there's actually some instant coffee here, nice. Some chicles, ground pepper, you know, condiments, um, cheese spread. Didn't this say beef? Why is there tortillas, nacho cheese pretzels, cheese spread, tropical juice, the heating elements, and Mexican style rice, and Southwest style beef, and black beans with sauce. All right, well, my, my water's boiling. My rice is being heated by the fire, and my beans, or the, Southwest style beef is smoking away over here with the heating element from the the MRE, which I've said it before, the chemical smell stinks, but it were it I I don't know, it works pretty good for me. The Woo! Hot potato. It works good for me. Alright, so we've got um some instant coffee, which is good because I still don't have any instant coffee at home. I have those little pods, you know, for the Keurig machine. It's so fancy. I drink my coffee black. I don't put sugar, cream, none of that stuff in there. So that's why, like, I know, you you know how good a coffee is if you drink it like that. If you don't, like, just destroy it with adding all this stuff to it, you tend to drink better better coffees. Like, kind of a mild not mild, medium, medium roast. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's terrible. It's not good. <laughs> but it's, you know, it'll be good for out here. Warm up the old insides. All right, so that thing there, that rice is probably hot. Yep, it's hot. All right, that's good. So what I'm gonna do is, I hear noise over there, it might be a bear hitting a tree or something. Get this all, you can, I can feel it's rice in there. I don't know if you mix, mix this in with that or that in with this, but it feels pretty good. That's good to go. And then here's my, I don't know if you can see the steam coming off it. Whew, it stinks though. You can see it's sweating. It's been about, I think about 10 minutes or so. You've got to watch out for this element in here because it is hot. Most of my, whoo, there we go. Most of my military buddies, my army buddies, told me that they don't, uh, usually they don't even use this heating element. Um, especially if you're like in a combat situation, they just strip it down, take this, and then when it's time to eat, you just eat it cold. It's nice and hot. I can actually feel it through my gloves. That's good get it all mixed up before I open it up. Hopefully it's a good one. I can feel chunks in there. Hopefully it's chunks of beef. <laughs> it's chunks of beef. 
Yeah, it's definitely hot. That one, that element worked really good. I think there's a bear over there. You can hear grunting. All right, so this one doesn't have the side tear on it. So I'm gonna do the, the long tear. It smells like um, like a pulled pork sandwich. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. It's hot for sure. All right. So what I'm gonna try and do is this rice shouldn't be that hot. Open up the rice one. This one's got me the long way. It's better. This is pretty good. I gotta. I mean, I don't know how it tastes yet, but it's it's a pretty good meal. It's Spanish style rice. The rice is okay. It's a little bit a little bit crunchy. Not crunchy. Whoa, it's spicy. It's got some spice to it. It tastes good. It's just a little bit um, undercooked. You know, it's a little firm for my, my taste. It's like a stew. It's like a, it's like, let's see if I can show you. It's like a stew. It's got chunks of jalapenos in there, beans, corn. It's like a it's like a stew. It's actually really good. The okay, so the rice on a scale of one to ten is a two. This would be like a eight or seven. The the beef is tender. The beef is tender. The sauce is really good. It's got a little spice to it. Uh, it definitely looks like there's jalapenos, corn, tomato. It's good. This one is meal 15. Let my fire die, die down. Meal 15, Southwest beef, black beans. But inside it said it was more of a, I don't know, it's more of a stew to me. I definitely could recommend this one. This one will go on my list with, um, with lasagna. The lasagna, vegetarian lasagna one is one that I like pretty good. Anyway, guys, uh, again, I, I thought I was going to come up here and get snow, and it's it's just at a much higher elevation. But someone did, uh, Retta brought up the fact of, why don't you come out and have an MRE? So I figured I'd do that. I'm only about, I don't know, 50 meters from the, from the stream. I can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background. Probably not because I talk all the time. But I'm, I can hear it. I can see it flowing. Nice little fire. Again, uh, just a, a, a way, this was more of a lunch time rather than a breakfast time. Like the last one was morning time. This one I came out here, it was about 1030. It's, I think it's one something now. Um, Got to get back and do some other work. But it's a nice way to kind of come out. Instead of like going to like a fast food place, you know, I'm, I'm just like thinking out loud here, is to be able to come up here, start to make a little fire, and you know cook something that today was the MRE but you know cook a little something heat up something and have a coffee and relax it's it really resets my my state of mind because you know after this I'm gonna go and I'm gonna live stream for three hours video games you know which I love doing and I, I, I you know have a bunch of friends met a bunch of friends there and I do that and we all have just a great time and it's a lot of fun and then after that, I'll be rendering out some videos and editing till probably one in the morning. And then we'll go and start again. So something like this is a is a nice way to kind of just relax and put your mind at ease. And after that last video, like I said, I hope that you know that you can vicariously get some relaxation through the video, seeing this, and I don't know, just enjoy it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.